This is Zan for Saturday Scholars. There's no shortage of teams every year that are just outright terrible at the game of football. Last year it was Colorado, easily the worst team in all of Power 5. Who is the worst team in all of Power 5 and maybe college football this year? My dear viewer, look no further than the Stanford Cardinal. Yes, I said it. The Stanford Cardinal are the worst team in all of Power 5 this year and possibly Division 1. And here's why. Let's take a look at the Stanford Cardinal holistically at what they brought in. They have one of the absolute worst returning production ratings that I have ever seen. Their net TARP rating is minus 11.5. Turnovers and returning production, minus 11.5. That is far and away the worst in all of college football. Let's take a look at who they gained and just who they lost. First off, their entire offensive line is gone, either via transfer portal or retirement. Let that sink in, all five spots. Let's go through the list real quick. Walter Roos, four-star tackle to Oklahoma. Miles Hinton, four-star tackle to Michigan. Drake Nugent, four-star guard to Michigan. Man, Jake Hornibrook, another lineman to Duke. And then the other key component of that offensive line retired from football. The Stanford Cardinal have lost their entire offensive line. The Stanford Cardinal have also lost two wide receivers, two defensive backs, and a quarterback to the NFL. Big deal, Zan. Big deal. Teams lose production every year. Why would this be any different? Stanford will be fine, right? Right? <laughs> no. Stanford is losing everything. Stanford is losing significant pieces of their secondary. Defensive line, linebackers, they're losing basically quality at every single position. Wide receiver, running back, quarterback, offensive line. They're under a new head coaching regime with Troy Taylor from Sac State, which may be a decent hire, but ultimately that man doesn't have much to work with as it stands right now. I want to make mention of something here. Notice how we mentioned the entire offensive line is gone from last year. This unit in itself was not very effective. They were 110th in line yards, 98th in sack rate, both atrocious stats and absolutely awful offensive line. Now factor in that the entire offensive line is gone and Stanford only brought in two linemen via the portal to supplement those players. And those players that they brought in are not of the same quality of players that they lost. Stanford may very well have the worst offensive line in all of college football this season. Not to mention they played inexperienced starting quarterback or projected starter. And their schedule doesn't do them any favors. Their line is sitting there at line of three. Hawaii, at Hawaii, they should win that. At USC, Sac State, Arizona. Oregon, at Colorado, UCLA, Washington, at Wazoo, at Oregon State, Cal, Notre Dame. Of that, I think they can only win a maximum of four of those games, and I don't think they're gonna win all four of them. Their line is sitting there at three. I like the under for Stanford. They are going to be atrocious this year. I know what a lot of you are thinking. There's no way Stanford loses to Sacramento State. That Sacramento State team is not a guaranteed win for Stanford. Sac State went 12-1 last year, won their conference. They averaged 43 points per game. Stanford is losing everything and could very well lose to Sacramento State. It's going to be very interesting to watch because they are a program in complete rebuild right now. Now, it's not all doom and gloom for the Cardinal. As it stands today, they have the number nine recruiting class coming in next season. But unfortunately, that recruiting class one is not signed yet and two is not on campus yet. Troy Taylor is gonna have a very hard time in his inaugural year as the Stanford head man. To really hammer this point home, here is a chart showing all that they lost and what they brought in to supplement what they lost. You will see that the losses are substantial while what they brought in is nothing in comparison to everything that they've lost. This team, is on the verge of being an FCS quality team this season. Stanford has got to be the worst team in all of Power Five this season and possibly all of Division I FBS this season. 
Let me know how you feel about the Stanford Cardinal. Do you think they have some upside? Do you think I missed something? Do you think, wow, they really are that bad? Let me know in the comments how you feel about the Stanford Cardinal, or if you think another team is worse off. Hey, shout out Virginia. They could be in that boat, but they have more returning than the Stanford Cardinal do. Time will tell. But for me, the worst team in college football this season is the Stanford Cardinal. Thanks for watching. If you dig this video, like, comment, subscribe. We'll put our links to all of our social medias, podcasts, all in the description. Feel free to check us out. Interact with us on Twitter. We'd like to comment uh, back at you guys and discuss things with you. If you have any comments to add to this discussion, feel free to leave it for us. We'd like to engage with you guys. With that being said, this is Zan for Saturday Scholars, signing out.